You see him close renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for two years. After the plaza, we'll take his place. Underground won't have much use for her anymore.
All right. Let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks. Which are locked and powered down. We need a new power source. Yeah, this'll work. Webs won't reach. This is gonna work. That's one. Feeling good. This is working. A couple more. This is working. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> Exhibit was down that hall. Underground cash. She's gotta be further inside. We need to finish this. You and me. She's got to be with our project. Down that hall. Come on. 
on, molasses. I want to see our project Welcome while we're to still Dad. young. Where tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Didn't you use the date of a mean biologist? She's an astronaut. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Since the mid-20th century, Scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This it's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. We gotta play. Oh, come on. It's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, rocket buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Gotcha. Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you, breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. A 
shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh. From multiple entries, you can hmm. We should look around for an energy display. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I, I couldn't do this about without solar you. Energy near the lock door. <sighs> we should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take you Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. I think you're right. This model the solar energy display probably has something we can use. Temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Not gonna help us get past that door. Oh, hey, look. Soul mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. I'll put the sticker on the metal. Let's go. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker is pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. No, not quite. Need something else. We gotta try again. That worked! We did it! Come on! Our project awaits! That was awesome! I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello? You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? 
Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. The Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space When are we going to grow flowers in space? They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? Oh, ho, ho, we. Would you look at that? Genuine award-winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. listening to you. Yeah! Uh -huh. 
to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Yeah. Rock's on an underground.